after the flood, many of our nonprofits uh, did not have a home, and uh, they were impacted because uh, they were they were flooded. They couldn't continue to provide services, so many of them had to find temporary housing. Uh, and set up offices very quickly because the people who needed help needed a place to go. Uh, as a result of that, uh, because of Rex Eno, who many of you know, a community volunteer, uh, Jack Evans at Hall Prine, and some of the staff at United Way, we brought a group of community leaders together um, and uh, really put together the Human Service Campus, which now exists on, uh, you'll see it on 8th Avenue, about a block east of the YMCA. Uh, that facility was paid for by iJobs money uh, and private fundraising, and today is the home for 13 nonprofit agencies that came together and that we now share resources in that facility. Uh, and I think it was a great testament to uh, the nonprofit organizations coming together and saying, let's share our resources, uh, let's do something new and different. Uh, and the good news was I think that was really the first shovel-ready project that the legislature uh, backed in addition to the Czech Museum. And now uh, we are serving over 10,000 families and individuals on an annual basis.